Big story a year and a half after a Cleveland officer shot 12 year old boy to death. The city announces a settlement with the family of Tamir Rice. It's paying the family $6 million. And we did some digging and learned that's far more than any settlement over police misconduct in the city's recent history. Kristen Volk is live from Cleveland, and you've been covering this story from the beginning. Today, the mayor nearly apologized. That's right, Frank. Mayor Jackson expressed sadness, anger, and regret over, at, over what happened to Tamir Rice here at a press conference at City Hall this afternoon. And the Rice family attorney calls this settlement historically significant for the amount of money paid out. And now the officers involved face the next step in this case. At the end of the day, a 12-year-old child lost their life. And that should not have happened in the city of Cleveland. <laughs> It should not have happened. It was a split second incident on a cold November day here at Cadell Park that is now costing the city of Cleveland six million dollars. There is no price that you can put on the life of the loss of a 12 year old child. Tamir Rice shot dead with an airsoft gun in his hand by two Cleveland police officers, Timothy Lohman and Frank Garmbach, both cleared of any criminal wrongdoing nearly four months ago. Today, another chapter closed in this case. No resolution is going to bring this family closure. Subo Chandra, the Rice family attorney, tells me the family is in too much pain to address the news publicly. But this settlement spells out that the city will pay the family $3 million this year and $3 million next year. How is that figure decided on? Negotiation. The payout comes at a time when the city is financially strapped, forced to pay nearly $11 million this year on the Department of Justice consent decree, with subsequent multi-million dollar payments over the next four years. But Jackson said it is an obligation that the city must and will fulfill over an incident he says he wishes had never happened. And believe me, if, if I had my rathers, I wouldn't be standing here in front of you today talking about this. The mayor said an administrative discipline review is already underway for those two officers, and he expects that process to be done by the end of the year. Also, he says the city's law department is still looking into possible negligent homicide charges at the request of a councilman. Live in Cleveland, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.